hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you read by the title we're gonna be doing a no makeup makeup look today now i'm gonna do this for a good little minute y'all but i think i finally got my routine to show y'all now i did do an everyday makeup look this past thursday so if you want to check that out it will be linked down below or it'll probably be the next video up after this now before we get into this don't forget to like comment and subscribe we are on the road to 1k y'all and i'll be so happy if you all join the family and join my community on youtube now i know my hair is not done the edges part i don't care y'all it's midnight basically and your girl is tired but i gotta get this content out for y'all so i'm gonna get into it and so yeah keep on watching I've been a, a Alright, so I brought y'all a little bit up close and personal so if you can see the pores, you can see the bumps, mind your business because my skin is going through it a tiny, tiny little bit. But anyways, y'all, y'all can see the face is freshly clean i have no product or anything on it so for my no makeup makeup looks y'all i really do not use any foundation now i know i am like fifteen thousand different shades but i learned with my skin if i don't use foundation it will really look like a no makeup makeup look so my consists of no foundation at all so with that being said the first thing i normally do is i do a good skin Prep. I have two products I love for my skin prep and I'm actually running out one of them but I kind of re-upped a little little bit. I'm going to be taking Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid. It's in this cute little bottle. I think it's retail for like $6 or so y'all but it is so so cute so pretty. It delivers deep hydration to plump the appearance of fine lines of what it says on the bottle. As y'all can see I have a couple. I am very animated. I have smile lines. I just have wrinkles basically everywhere y'all but as you can see i also am a dry skin girly so this would give us all the hydration that i need to make sure the skin is plumped and looking great another product i go in with y'all is this eye gel by bioma this is what it looks like it is i have the mini of course y'all it's supposed to be a deep puff plus brightening eye gel with triceramide complex triple hyaluronic acid and vitamin c now this will be great for under eyes because y'all can see i have like a little bit of dark circles so i put this up under here to prep for the under eye part when it comes to my no makeup makeup looks so i go in with my serum first y'all just because i like putting the eye gel on last i think it lasts so much better on the skin when i'm layering with that because of how thick it is and it sits well so i'm just going in oh putting this all over my face and look how i like, look at the skin now it looks glowy it looks good which is why i go in with that product because it literally just hydrated the face y'all like brought all that little moisture back and then I go in with the eye gel. I have a little bit left, so I'm just gonna put it here. And I always look up when I apply, just so I can get in the little creases and everything up under my under eye because it is bad up under there, y'all. So, gotta make sure the skin is nice and hydrated, especially healthy. All right, y'all, so next we're gonna go in and prime. And I have a new product right here from Wet n Wild. This is their Glow and Love Liquid. Now, I thought this would be like a highlighter. However, it's really like a moisturizer slash shimmer for like priming the face and everything, y'all. It has 4% niacinamide, 8% glycerin, and you can use it as a primer or alone once again. Now, it's in this cute little purple bottle. I forgot how much it retail for. I will put it in the description about how much it costs. But yeah, so we're gonna put it on the face to see how it is. So this is what the face is looking like before the product. And now we're gonna add a little bit of it just to see how it is on the skin. Now what I would say is a little bit goes a long way, but y'all see how it gave my face. They're like, oh. It gave my face that moisturized look. Now it's not ugly, but it's definitely something like a cute glow with it. Look, like look at it here, then look at my face here. Like I have way more glowiness on the side, which is what I'm loving. But I think will be perfect for this look, obviously, because we're not putting any foundation or anything on. So this is why I decided to try it. And now I'm excited to see what the face is gonna look like in the end. And this is what the face looking like with it all over. It's a little bit ashy on my forehead, in my opinion. But other than that, the skin do look glowy. Now, if I were to redo this and wear it like on its own, I probably put like a little bit on the forehead, but I kind of went down with it on it just to like cover it because I feel like it was drying ever so quickly. But yeah, this is what the skin is looking like. Not patchy, a lot of shimmer. 
like a lot so other than that i'm really not too mad at it yet but we're gonna see how it looks with product on top of it so y'all already know i gotta go in with my other primer this is the one size secure the blur y'all know girl love this so i'm gonna put this in a t-zone like i normally do just to hide these pores because honey they are horrendous All right, so we're gonna go in and do brows. Now, since this is a no makeup makeup look out, I really don't not do too, too much for my brows. I let them kind of fall naturally, like brush them a little bit and like fill them in just a tiny bit. So I got a new eyebrow pencil, y'all. This is from NYX. This is their micro brow pencil. I wanted to try this. I've been seeing this all over my Instagram and my TikTok. So I wanted to give it a go and see how it is. And it is like half the price of Benefit Brow. Y'all know I love some Benefit Brow, but we're gonna switch it up and try this one to see how it is. Now, I got mine the shade Espresso, and as y'all can see, this tip is really, really small. So, I'm kinda happy that it is to fill in more precisely, and of course, you get a brush on the other side. So, I'm just gonna brush them up to make sure that everything looks good, that my shape is not off. And then, I'm gonna go in and fill them in. All right, so this is what the brow was looking like. Nothing too, too crazy. Like, compared to the two, you can tell it's filled in, but not really too much. So far, I really, really do like this pencil because of how I can, like, get everywhere. But I don't think this is my shade. Like, this is espresso. It is a brown, but I don't know. I feel like black would be too black, obviously. So I think they need to do, like, a middle shade. But maybe I'm just not using it correctly. Maybe that's just me but let's see all right so i swatched the two y'all and this is the one i'm currently using with nyx and then this is benefit brow shade five see how like it's two different browns um i want to like this pencil so much y'all but it's not the right shade like it looks good but like i need something a little bit darker than this all right, so next I'm gonna go right in with my under eyes, y'all. I do that first, typically, just to make sure it lays down. I have three different options right here. Now, they all are very, very different, y'all, so just stick with me. I have the Fenty Beauty Hydrating. I have the Elf Camo, which is kinda a love-hate relationship right now. I'm thinking about giving it another try. And then, of course, y'all, I have the Vanessa Myricks, her Yummy Skin Concealer. Amazing. And we're definitely gonna go in with Fenty Beauty. It just like sticks some up under here. Now, it is more so orange and not really my skin, but we're gonna make it work, y'all, because I can't find one close to my skin tone if my skin is different shades, obviously. I'm gonna take my setting brush right here to blend it out. I'm gonna go out and do these edges. I'm so crazy, y'all. I forgot to put some out here. Just a little bit, though. Not too, too much. As y'all can see, blending, I just work with that little bit because it spreads out amazing. And you see it like came out. Now, it's going to look a little orange. I really don't care because I know what I'm doing. But make sure you find one that is like the under your under eye color. If you have problems like me and your skin like different shades, get your first concealer that you normally use before you highlight. And just make it work, which is what I'm doing because everything else I be trying to use, y'all, is too dark. And then I'll bring the rest of this product down here. I don't add any just because I want it to still look seamless and blendless without wow, too, too much. So we went on the forehead a little bit, y'all, and we're gonna just take some on the back of my brush when I'm doing my eyebrows just to carve them out a little bit so they won't look crazy. All right, so now we're gonna go in and bronze. I'm gonna take my Milani Cheek Kiss Bronzer. You know, this was in the shade Mocha Moment. It's this brown. Now this will go perfect because it's not too dark for as a bronzer and a contour on my cheeks. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take my brush, dip it in there. And I just give it like a light little push. 
Now I'm not bringing it down because I want it to stay right there as you can see. Like it gives like a little bit of a shadow, which is all I need, nothing too much. I just go over and tap some of the access on my forehead. Make sure I give it that good blend because I don't want it to look, I don't know how to put it y'all, but like, I said one look like it's so cute and everything, so. All right, then I take my little small brush and I just go on the nose. I don't break it all the way down. I just leave it like right there in the beginning. Just to do a little something, but really not too much. And if it looks a little bit muddy, just go over on the corners with that concealer brush and then down the ridge of the nose to clean up any bronzer that got on the actual nose itself. All right, so we're gonna move on to blush. I have my e.l.f. camo blush. Y'all know I love these. E.l.f. did a big one when they created these camo blushes and concealers, but I have this one in the shade Suave Mall. This is what it looks like, y'all. This is a great subtle blush. Like if you want like some pop of color, a little bit of, you know, something on your makeup because this right here looks a little bland, but when I add this blush, it adds something. I don't know what it is, y'all, but I really, really do love this shade in general. And so now we're just gonna go in and blend it out. And I just do tapping motions so I can control where that product is at so it won't go too far. But I am bringing it in some, y'all, because we're gonna go in with a little bit more Concealer just to blend all of this in to make it look good because the first layer was more so for actually concealing So this is what we're gonna get at the moment All right, so now I'm going with that same concealer y'all the same shade I'm not gonna brighten and I'm gonna just go over in the front once again And now this layer would actually be to like do a little bit of coverage to cover up some of that blush But not too much of it so I'm gonna go back in with that same setting brush and just like blend out the edges once again. Bring it up. I get some of that product and then blend here. And when I do that, I'm able to move it where I need to move it to. So if I wanna bring it down, I can on the side of the nose. And that's what it looking like compared to this side. There's a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more warmth to it. And if you don't, if you hate that line of demarcation right here, just go ahead and blend it up into the eye socket. All right, now it's time to set everything, y'all. I'm going with my Huda Beauty Peach Pie right here. Now it is bright, y'all, but it's still gonna dry down cute because I went in with the orange concealer. Now if I go in with the orange setting powder, it's gonna be like a two-two orange in my opinion. So this is a great balance between the two just to make it look, you know, yeah, to make it blend out, I don't know, y'all. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. So this is what it looking like. This is before, this is after. So it kind of honed it down a little, little bit, but not too, too much. So of course y'all know I'm gonna go in and bake right afterwards. So now we're just gonna go in and set the other side as well as the rest of the face. All right, so while that's baking a little bit, I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Insta Warmth Bronzer right here. Now, ooh, why is it so hard to open? Like, okay, there we go. This is in the shade Mocha Mommy. It's this like cute little chocolatey reddish brown. So I'm gonna just put that on top of my bronzer just to give it a little pop, nothing too, too much. Now, I like more so like a matte, like no makeup makeup look because I am a matte person. I'm like very dry. So I feel like if it's like too oily or too like glowy for me, it will be noticeable that I got on makeup, if you get what I'm saying. Take this same pencil from earlier and like just go down the nose. Next is time for blush, y'all. I'm going with my Sephora Colorful Blush right here. Now this one is in the shade 27 Charmed. When you open it, it looks like this cute little pale pink or orange, depending on what your camera's pulling up. But it's so, so pretty. And I think it'll be very cute for like a simple blush. So I'm gonna take some and put some on my face. 
and like it kind of gives like some like color to the skin but not overdoing it which is what we need and then i'll take this puff and i'll just tap in the excess setting powder on both sides now this is what the face is looking like right now y'all in my opinion it looks like i have on bronzer and like a little bit of blush and like a little bit of concealer not too too much like it's not overdoing it for me now if it's too mattifying too drying for you i should just go in there with a setting spray and the setting spray i'm going to be using is going to be my morphe continuous i really really do love this one i love the milk hydro grip y'all but i ain't got none right now so this is gonna have to do All right, so I went in and did my lashes. Um, I just used regular mascara. Now, I do need some new ones. So, if y'all have any good mascara, let me know down below what your recommendations is. I'm currently using, like, the Kiss one because they sent them to me. So, that's why I'm using those. But I am open to suggestions. So, let me know below what product you think I should try on my lashes. All right, so we're going to go in with some eyeliner, y'all. I have this one right here from MAC. This is their nude eyeliner. It's in the shade Risqué. Or right, this is what it looks like, y'all. It's more so to like wake up the eyes a little, little bit, just to give it like the eyes being like wide. Because I kind of have like smaller eyes, so sometimes I like to wake them up if I'm not really doing a lot of makeup. And I decided to go with nude instead of white because the white would be very, very obvious. Meanwhile, nude is like very subtle. Like you can really tell unless you really just pay attention, which is why I'm going in with this one. I just take my setting brush and I just hold it down, and then I go in. So this is what it looks like, the difference. Like I said, it kind of woke up the eyes a little, little bit, but not too, too much, which I feel like is very, very cute. Now I'm going with a little bit more mascara just to like do a little bit of helping to like not make it like I have on like two. So this is what we are looking like so far. Now if you prefer the before the eyeliner, you can go ahead and do that. But I really, really do just love the way this look as far as like opening up my eyes and making them look wider than what they are. So that's where I'm gonna end it off. And I have my natural glow back from when I did that setting spray. So I'm not gonna add any highlighters. And the last thing we're gonna do y'all is the lip. Now y'all already know my go-to, my MAC pencil in the shade Chestnut. I'm not gonna overline or anything. I'm just gonna line just enough to say that it's on there. Then I'm just going with my NYX Butter Gloss. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure this is in the shade Butterscotch. I was right. I know my shade's a little bit. But I'm gonna just go in and just put it in the center. I do not add a lipstick or anything, y'all, just to get the like the natural color of the lip to come out a little bit. So this is what it looks like, a very like nudie brown. I really, really do love it. This is it right now, y'all. So of course, at the end, you spray a little bit more setting spray. So normally I would go in with one, but like I said, I'm gonna take this off. So there is really no point. And all right, y'all, and that is it for this makeup look. Y'all let me know what y'all think about the way it looks, if you like it now. Like I said, this is literally a no makeup makeup look to me. Very similar to my everyday makeup look. However, I have no foundation on, so like the natural skin is kind of peeking through. Now with the eyeliner and the waterliner, so you could go without it. Um, a little bit of me wanted to go without it, but I decided to include it just to see what it would look like. And I really, really do love it, but without eyeliner, I feel like it would even be a more no makeup makeup look type of deal. But yeah, so this is what the face is looking like, y'all. So I've used only bronzer, blush, and concealer a little bit of eyebrow but nothing too too much a little bit of mascara obviously but yeah y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments i really really do love the way this turned out i could have went a little bit of light on the concealer of course but y'all i'm like five different shades i have to do something so this is what we got this is what we're going with and yeah y'all let me know in the comments what you all think of this makeup look do you think this is not a no makeup makeup do you think it's close to my everyday whichever one is fine because it kind of look like i'm not gonna hold y'all but I still feel like this is more so like a uh, no makeup makeup look to me. But yeah, y'all let me know in the comments what you all think. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, we are almost at 1K. Support your girl. Leave a comment. Do whatever you got to do, y'all, to show your support to me. But anyways, y'all, I hope you all have a great week. It is Sunday. I just hope that everything is great with y'all because it's like 1230. It's like midnight. 
So I need to take this off. But anyways, y'all, I hope you all have a great week. I hope you all do some things festive and just have a good time. And I will see y'all Thursday. Bye.